in the previous examples, there was one caveat that whoever made the edit would not lose permissions to edit that range. I want to show one way to overcome that so that only the owner of the spreadsheet will retain edit permissions on that range after the edit is made. There can be advantages to this, just depends on your use case. So we've created the script, the function, and this time the one thing that we've done different, instead of using the name on edit, I've given the function a unique name. On edit is a reserved keyword and it just tells Google App Script to run the simple trigger, the simple edit trigger every time an edit is made. In this case, I don't want that because there are permissions issues that cannot have. So I'm naming the function something else. In this case, lock row. Then we come to edit, current projects triggers. Here we can make an installable trigger. There's a lot more permissions, a lot more flexibility available to these triggers. So I create the new trigger. We want the lock row function, it's the only one there, but we would select it if there were multiple. And we want it from spreadsheet, and we want it to run on edit. I'd already set this up, but normally when you set this up, it's going to require you to authorize the script to run on your account. Go ahead and authorize it so that it will actually perform. Otherwise, it's just gonna kick you out and not make the trigger. So now that I've created the trigger, it's actually gonna run the same way if I'm doing it from this account. So it's gone ahead and created this, uh, this protection, which covers that entire row. And this was made from the main account, obviously. If I come to this sub account and make an edit here, first we can see over here, it does say that the row that got protected is view only. That's what we want, so that this other user cannot edit something. Let's say this user comes in and locks a row for David. And it actually works the same way. Even though it was the other user who triggered the script, since the, trick since the script was installed rather than simple, it's running as the owner of the spreadsheet or technically is running as whoever created the trigger. So create that from the owner's account and then when the script runs, it's going to run as the owner of the account, of the sheet, so that it actually locks out even the, per the user who made the edit.